Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and Halloween is just around the corner, and what? You're not ready? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Here's some fast and easy and free things you can print to spice up the Halloween in your house and be ready for those trick-or-treaters. Let's do this. Are you ready? Go. Ah, welcome back. Like I said, Halloween is... Shoot, it's just around the corner, but don't worry. I've found a lot of really cool and free things you can print with your 3D printer to spice up the Halloween around your house. We've got some ghosts, we've got some pumpkins. Heck, we've even got a large Yoda bowl that you can keep the candy in. How exciting. I also, I also have this. My buddy down in California is gonna be Noob Cybot for Halloween, a character from Mortal Kombat. And he found this mask on Thingiverse, so I printed it for him. I happened to print one for me as well. He's been painting it and trying to make it look awesome. I haven't had time to paint mine, but I don't know, it's it's kind of neat. It's well, you want to see it? Here we go. Here we go. Noob Cybot wins. Let's start off if you need a last minute costume. Of course, we've got this Noob Cybot mask. If you find yourself needing to be an awesome ninja, this is a free download and a fast print and you will look awesome. Here's a decoration idea. There's a small little bat. There's a small little ghost. It's still a scary ghost, but it's small. Here's a small skull. Not as scary as the ghost, but still small. Last but not least is this little pumpkin. And these are great for decorations because you can print them small or you can print them large. And then depending on where you want to put them, you can print them at whatever the right size is. Of course, this is really large, so I don't really have a place for it. Ah, oh, these little pumpkins are great. And these could sit on the kitchen table right next to the salt and pepper shaker. Or you could have these out on your entertainment center, perhaps on top of your speakers as you're watching a scary movie. This bigger pumpkin could be placed in the same spots, of course, but you know, this is all about decorations. And so you can print these things as big or as small as you need. You can print them as light as you need. In fact, this one, you could put a tea light candle in the middle. Ah, and this big one, could, you could do the same. So this is a, obviously larger than what I really need, but I still wanted to show you how big this could be printed. These little ghosts are so cute, and you could put these anywhere in the house. They're really easy to print, and they're a lot of fun. In fact, I printed more than one. I printed three. And then I printed a bigger one in clear filament. And finally... I did find some blue filament and I printed a large ghost. These are just a lot of fun. This is a dragon door knocker and this is great for decorating a door, whether it be your office, your bedroom, or even the front door for the trick-or-treaters. This is printed at 60% of the normal size and it'll fit anywhere. And this one's a, it takes less than 24 hours to print. This one is at 100% size. This takes a little bit longer, but you've still got time to print this if you'd like to have it for Halloween. Finally, we've got the Yoda Bowl. This is what you need if you want to give candy out to all the trick-or-treaters. All you need to do is load Yoda full of candy, and as the trick-or-treaters come up, they just take the candy out of Yoda's head. Oh, whoa. What? What the? Whew. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I, you know what? I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to find some cool things that you could print out last minute to kind of up the Halloween level in your house and really, really get you in the mood for some trick-or-treating and some candy and some, some good times. That's all I was hoping for. Hey, you know what? Give this a big thumbs up if you found it useful. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed because there's a lot of really cool stuff coming up. A really big thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. Without their financial support, a lot of the stuff that I do just wouldn't be possible. Hey, don't forget, I love you guys. Hug each other more. As always, high five.